Well, I guess we are doing monitor madness today. I have two monitors I like to compare. The one I have owned since I've owned my Tandy 1000, the CM5. That's on the left here. And a brand new one I got recently from Sean. Thanks to Sean, geek with social skills. I don't know how I got this, but thank you. Uh, this is the CM11. So it's got um, the ability to display crisper text. It's got a higher dot pitch or lower. I don't know, it's four, 0.42 millimeters versus 0.61 millimeters on our CM5. So I'm going to use King's Quest to sort of illustrate this first. We'll take a look at some of the patterns. Got some fun dithering, so it's a great image. In particular, this tree. See, I don't know if those are apples or what you might want to call those, but take a look at the highlights. Take a look at the shape. And we're going to compare that. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy here. In fact, I'm going to need to manually swap these cables. Let me set the tripod here. And we'll do a switcheroo. Okay. Now let's take a look at that same tree. And you tell me, see anything a little different there? I see some more highlights. I see some, like a white shine or something on top of those, maybe apples. <laughs> so yeah, the more you look, there is some extra detail creeping in here and there. And so I thought that was a great illustration, sort of off the bat there on what that extra dot pitch, that extra ability to display high resolutions can do for you. You do get a little bit more out of that picture. Um, let me set this up on the other side. How about here? Okay, what I'd like to do next is demonstrate the mode commands and what the text differences looks like on these things. Let's get out of here. So I'll share with you this manual, the Tandy 1000 SX Quick Reference Guide. It does talk about the mode commands and some of the special Tandy mode commands, which is part of what we're going to get in today. Specifically, I want to look at this 225 mode. Now, the default for these things, these things are the 225 resolution. Normally, it's 200 pixels. Let's get in here a little more. And we'll give you a quick demonstration. So we're currently at that 225 resolution. I'm going to take this post-it note here. And we'll take a look at the bottom of our screen now. Change it to mode 200. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And we'll do that same directory list and look at that you got a space there where that extra room goes so it's my understanding that that extra 25 pixels actually will take up more of the screen so that's one way I can show you the difference between these mode commands but there is one more that's a little more fun in my opinion with the help of trusty deskmate 2 look at that label that's seen better days um, I like using these things until they die. They're so all on their way out anyways. There's so many discs that already don't work. I say use them while they last. But I do have a backup. So Deskmate 2, which is what we're getting into, is a text-based operating system. So that'll be useful for our purposes. We'll get into the... What is this? A text editor? Word processor? And I'll show you... The difference in these character widths, let me get a close-up view here on all this. So there's our lowercase g, and when we do uppercase t, you see how those kind of run into each other? The bottom of the g meets with the upper portion of the uppercase t. So that is the 200 pixel resolution mode that we're in currently. Let's get out of here. I 
we'll get back into Deskmate as soon as I switch my mode back to the original 225. Alakazam! Let's get back into Deskmate. We'll do that test again, see if we can see any difference. Uh-oh. Crud. Come on, Destiny. Okay. <laughs> Catastrophe averted. So we are going to do the same thing. Lowercase g, and uppercase t. Oh, would you look at that? There is actually a gap between those. So, I don't know, I just found that curious because I didn't know anything about this uh, text mode functions, any of these text mode functions. And the claim on Wikipedia is that the more expensive CM11 also supported a special proprietary Tandy enhanced 225 scanline text display mode. I think that's incorrect. I think that has nothing to do with the monitor. I think it displayed fine on my CM5. It's <laughs> they're both plenty capable. It's it's that extra pixel between the character sets that should not be impacted by the monitor whatsoever. Somebody call Wikipedia. Okay. So the modes are fun. I just I don't see too many people talking about it, so I wanted to briefly. Um, since I'm there, I'll mention I always thought I had to hit that F2 on startup to get to that lower speed, that 4.77 megahertz. And um, turns out that's a mode command. So when I bring that back to slow, mode slow. Oh, phew, how about I get into the right file? The right, right disk. And there we are, we're at the 4.77. And boom, back to 7.16. So, I don't know, fan of that, had to show it off. Uh, I think I'm gonna close on doing one last text comparison. It's part of why I'm here to have a battle of the monitors. So, let's take one last good look. We'll have the same screen going, our directory. Um, I often pay attention to the space in between the zero see how legible that is because that can get a little fuzzy dicey all right one more time get the pleasure of watching me manually switch some cables around one. Oh, this is what you came here to see drum roll please Let's take a look. So, you know what? Pretty legible still. It's not like your CM5 is a disaster. Um, looks pretty good. It's just a little fuzzier and that one's a little clearer. So, I don't know. I hope that helps people who are curious about the differences and wanted to have a little bit of a closer look to it and what the different text displays can do. Um, I don't know, one last time for kicks. See if we can tell any difference between these modes. Not really. <laughs> I just don't understand why that's listed as a monitor issue on Wikipedia. Oh well, anyway.